see, I'm always shocked the way you guys talk about Lagos as if Lagos just happened three year 2000 or when Ashiwaji became governor. Have you forgotten that Lagos was one of the only crown colonies, the British crown colonies in West Africa? Have you forgotten that Lagos existed since the 1850s, 1860s, thereabouts? That British administration was here. Have you forgotten? In 1867. Have you ever forgotten that Lagos, when the amalgamation was done, it was first Lagos colony with the Southern Protectorate in 1906, then Lagos Colony Southern Protectorate and the Northern Protectorate in 1914. I might refer you to the book written by, uh, what's his name? I forget his name. Uh, Femi Okuno, Chief Femi Okuno. That says, Gidik mm. So Lagos has always been special. And the economic drift that always come to Lagos, irrespective of anything anybody did over the time. That's one point I want you guys to say right now. Secondly, when people say the APC failed, Recently, the Nigeria Bureau of Statistics released a report that says poverty has grown so much to be 133 million out of 216 million. Debt to service ratio, so high, 119%. That's what we're using to service. We don't even have it, we are borrowing to service debts. All the economic indices, inflation, 20, over 20%. That's creaming off all our national capital. The state of the nation as we speak today is in a flux that the wife of the president even had to apologize on the BBC documentary that please forgive us because of our feelings. So what are you talking about? Show me the success. You see, Rufai, I, I, I like your sense of history. And I, I think I must bring history to bear now. You see, Lagos have always written on the strength of his, uh, of his history, like you, have, like you have connoted. And you see, the strength also uh, lies in the, in the developmental approach of, of his leaders in order to continue with the development as, as the method, if not for the interregnum that happened during the military uh, intervention or, should I say, disruption that happened. For Asiwagi to have picked the gumlet when the military had bastardized the progression of Lagos, I think you should give him a thumbs up for that. We all saw how Lagos was, how filthy it was, how uh, proliferated the internal league generated revenue was then. Is it clean now? How proliferated it was then. Uh, we all saw how criminality grew to the extent that banks were robbed in broad daylight and people were killed in, in huge numbers. Uh, but when Hachuadu came, he tackled these issues headlong. Uh, we've not got into a perfected a perfect, a, a perfect state yet, but we've moved the, the bar beyond uh, the ordinary and uh, to the extent that um, investors and investment are coming into Lagos. On the other part of it, I'll also tell you that I remember that um, uh, 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 Kogi State was also once a federal capital. I uh, remember that uh, in Rivers too was a capital at some point. At what point was Kogi? A Kogi was during during the Lord Lugard. During the Lord Lugard, was the capital, of Nigeria? The capital of capital of the the, 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 the the British protectorate. Then was the reason why I said that is yeah. now listen. The why I said that because the only federal capital you took us, us, you took and, us and listen, Rifai. Yes. You took us back in history. You took us back to colonialism. Right when Lagos have always enjoyed the status. So I am taking you back also for you to see some corners of Nigeria that have also enjoyed, right? They have already enjoyed the status. But for Lagos to continue to develop along that trajectory of its benefit means that the people that have governed Lagos have tried beyond human comprehension not to allow that stream to be broken off. That was why I used those people. Now, in terms of having... Um, uh, the, the, the castigation that you just talked about now that uh, APC is not, is not doing very well and all of that. You can also adduce that to, 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 to human explosion in terms of population. And if those PDP states are actually linked in nexus to the developmental strides of, it, of the APC, I think many of these things that you have brought up now would not have been and all of that. We would have worked together in harmony, seeing Nigeria first before any politicking among us. And that is where we should be looking at Nigeria first. Right? Remember, I swear you also affected and introduced regional integration, wanting to bring everybody together, regardless of the parties. At some point, he was the only, I mean, he was the only one in the, the, the ACN, AC states then. Regardless of that, he still worked with the PDP in order to achieve regional integration for the Southwest. You understand? He's a nationalist. You must give him that. But the APC has not done well. The APC have done perfectly well okay. uh, compared to the PDP when we have joined him. Wow, at some point, uh, this uh, APC man was just uh, was just shaking. He couldn't even know what to say. Of course, I would I know that uh, the presenters or the journalists wouldn't even want to stretch some things because when the APC man was talking about uh, that uh, Kogi State was also a federal capital, they were like, I know that this is going to come up. He said, 
uh, it has been and the man said Kogistis that the only place he knows is a uh, cross uh, yeah Calabar the cross river state so why Kogi and also now if you now say that there's a continuity, it's a different thing that people come in to tell us that uh, Tinubu built Lagos. He couldn't even answer that. They've caught him there. How can you tell us that uh, as if a uh, Lagos started, just like uh, Rufai was asking, as if a uh, Lagos started two, three years ago? How, uh, don't we know what we are talking about? That uh, they will tell you, oh, he built Lagos. Now this man has come as Agbakoba, the MBA chairman the former nba chairman that's 90 percent of infrastructures in lagos were built by general Gowan. he said 90 percent maybe the 10 percent you can talk about uh, what a uh, jack on did and the rest of them but for somebody to come and tell us as if lagos started since uh, 1990 or 1999 when tinubu came on board because this pride is what nigerians must need on the board because if not these guys will take they will turn they will turn history around now they they threw it to him that lagos did not just start in 1999 it has always been so what are you guys telling us he built this he built that what has changed he was talking about uh, the dead uh everywhere being littered and what have you has it changed for the better no we talk about crimes have we it's even crime is even growing up and it should be limited to what and what he did during that time so not even what other people, other governors have done, unless he's telling us that uh, he's the one who has been putting them there because they only tell you that, uh, oh, he's not a Baba Sokwe issue. But in their own confession, they contrad contradict themselves. They contradict themselves. Now, bringing Kogi to, into this issue is what I don't know. And he didn't even answer the question. What under that? He said APC has done well. What? Well, let us leave it for the electorate. He didn't even talk about a. Uh, of course, I'm sure because of the time they would have reminded him. You didn't answer the question of where the president's wife was apologizing that they have failed 133 million people into poverty, not even ordinary poverty, abject poverty. I don't even know how you can even describe it. Hmm. Well, Rufai calling you a genius, genius is an understatement. That is a, the journalist I was asking this man. It's an understatement. You are actually something far more intelligent, intelligent than just a genius. The man was misquoted. What APC created was poverty and insecurity in Nigeria. This man actually said that APC has done well for Nigeria. And Dr. Abati wouldn't even let him answer a question by Rufai or pressure him to answer the question. questions. You know... I am beginning to truly believe that uh, we were we are giving some of news anchors more credit than they deserve. Rufai right on we know quality when we see one. I am looking forward to a rise news team of Rufai Useni and Dr. Abati to interview Ajiri of Agbado plus Cassava. Love you always, brother Rufai. You always speak the mind of common Nigerians. And once Nigerians hear this, yes, yes. Because it's not all of us that will want to ask this some kind of questions. And these are the people who are our representatives, the journalists. But unfortunately, some journalists will be dodging some questions. But and that is why they are really on this Arise TV. Everything they do, they will just only oh uh, Rufai, you're not supposed to do that as a professional. Really professional? I begin to ask myself whether this is a journalist, whether they have a different market, whether they have a way of uh, changing or maybe they use a different uh, exchange rate and what have you. When people come uh, again, like, you know, from the religion aspect, pastors, when they talk about something,